Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and in this video I want to show you how to use Snapseed's double exposure feature. So here is my example, Jim and me walking down the beach. How did we get this picture? We didn't have anybody else with us. We didn't have a tripod. So how did we get the picture of the two of us? Well, I took a picture of him. He took a picture of me. There's the picture of me. There's the picture of him. And I used the double exposure feature of Snapseed to put them together. Let me show you how. So I'm going to open up Snapseed and go get the first picture. And it is on my device in an album called Recents. And there is the photo of Jim on the beach. So he's, he's the base picture. Now I tap on Tools and Double Exposure. And I'm going to add another image. I'm going to open Albums, Recents. And there is the picture of me. Now I want to just point out that that comes in as a, in the default style where they're just all combined exactly right. There's a bunch of other styles in here, but the default style looks just like that. Now one thing you have to notice is see how on the the base picture is the one of Jim and his beach. Then the added picture is the one of me and my beach. And Jim's shore break is going right through my neck there. So that's because of the transparency. So I'm going to go to transparency and put it all the way to opaque. Now that's just talking about the added picture. The original picture is already opaque. You'll see how this works. I check mark. I say, okay, I'm ready to then put them together. I have to go to the stacks brush, tap on the stacks tool, view edits. The only edit was the double exposure, but instead of it being a solid double exposure, I want to paint on just me. So I take the paintbrush. It says, okay, here's your number one picture. What do you want to paint on? I have to just, oh, notice that it's saying double exposure 100. So where I paint me on it's going to come in at 100%. That red shadow is called a mask. Let me take that off and I'll put it back on in a minute. All right, so you see I've painted me on, but I've also painted on a little bit of my beach. I have to subtract that. So down here you decrease until you see zero. Now I'm going to zoom in and I will be subtracting the part of my picture that I don't want. Now this can take a little bit of time and here is where that mask comes in handy. If you want to see, you know, like I'm not sure, do I need to subtract stuff from here or not? The mask will show me where I have added the double exposure and make it a little bit easier to get rid of it. And it's two fingers, by the way. It's two fingers to move the screen around and then one finger to do the adding. And I think I got rid of my arm here. If I take the mask off, yeah, I think I have, I got rid of my arm there. So I need to go back to adding 100%. And yeah, so there's my arm and then decrease. So this is a little bit of, a little bit of work. But pretty cool. When you're done, you tap the check mark. And then to get out of the stack brush, you tap the back arrow. And then you can export your photo. That is double exposure. Adding one photo to another or just a part of a photo.